Yeah! What? Fucking... Jesus, I can't even- I couldn't even see that shark hit me. Like, even after he hit me, I was like, where is he? Like, that's the easiest location to see anything. Is in... The light of the, uh, sunken, um, light tower. Yeah. Which is, I guess is probably the, the, the point. Yeah, I'm wondering. It's just, it's hard to stay in that area because you're, like, super surrounded by everything then. Doing okay now, at least. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? Are you doing the Thug Life one? <laughs> no, not that one. First we're gonna rock, then we're gonna roll, then we're gonna drop, go, let it go! Oh, oh yeah! Yeah, blot, blot, motherfucking blot, blot, whoop! Shit, fuck, yup. <laughs> 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 I'm juking! I'm juking! <laughs> uh, it takes me back. Alright. Uh, we could probably start the episode. I don't know, dude. I could still die at any moment. That's fair. Or the game could fucking crash, who knows? Equally fair. No! <laughs> oh, scary. There we go! There we go! Fuck you! Jesus. Ready? Let's do it. Alright, welcome back, everybody. I hope, uh. The beast. You enjoyed that little compilation of, uh. It has fallen. <laughs> of that epic battle. You know, after I. Uh, we we did make one one other um, discovery that I don't think was was uh, mentioned in the last episode. But if we're by this sunken light tower, it does get a lot brighter, which makes it a hell of a lot easier to see. Yeah. Um, so that lack of visibility may have been more on purpose, I guess. Yeah, I I don't know if I necessarily agree with it. Regardless, because it's still a pretty damn hard boss battle. Even like, what well, was a combination of of the that and the the main shark, it, the, like the megalodon shark, mm -hmm. is armored on top, like a megalodon was, and uh, and there was a, there was just like a lot of factors. That was like when you feel like being st uh, sadistic as a designer, you're like, haha, I'll do all of the things that will anger the player. Yeah, th there was a little much going on there. I love the city. I'm not leaving. Dot 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 them. <laughs> Or asterisk, 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 them. Checklist. Dash. How to load a gun. Dash. How to fix an Edison. Edison? Yeah. Dash. How to build a raft. I mean. All right. So, all right. <laughs> so uh, I guess if you were to remove one thing from that boss battle, what do you think you would do? Like one, one of those elements. Without having to change the main mechanics... I would say that the main shark itself was actually cleverly designed. Um, honestly, probably the visibility. Most of the time I felt like you were getting hit is because you didn't see the things that were hitting you. Yeah. Or either that or the sharks weren't brightly colored enough because some of them were just dark. And those were the ones that were usually getting you. Yeah, and honestly, I even had a hard time with the mine sometime. I know I didn't actually run into them, but there were many times where I was like, Oh god, there's a mine there. Run, 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 run. Mm. And uh, that could have, you know, compromised my state of being many a times. Mine um, woods station. But I, the mine woods. I absolutely agree. I, if I were to change one thing about that boss battle, it would absolutely be the visibility. Now, I imagine that they made the visibility a thing specifically because this is the boss battle that we face oh, pretty much immediately after the, um, the uh, what do they call him? The, the anglerfish. Oh, yeah. Um, so, like, when we traveled, I don't, I don't know if we had this in any of the episodes, but when we traveled all the way, like, to one side of the map, we didn't need to do that. The shark, the chain gang, was actually right next to the anglerfish, and we just totally missed it. And so the expectation is that this is the next one that you face. Harsh. Um, which sort of justifies my, like, struggling with the other bosses, I think, because it's that like, makes we didn't have sense. the 360 yeah. motion, which kind of makes a big deal. Yeah. You, uh, you went to a place that was 10, 15 levels above your characters. 
I, I Meg manned it. <laughs> Why are we still being attacked? Why is the government not helping us? This city was created by them, and now they use it as a rubble battleground. Hypocrites, all of them. Perceptive clubs. Battleground. Battleground. <laughs> battleground. Battleground. <laughs> Uh, uh, so did you get an upgrade from that fight? Yeah, it was the, the 360 heartbeats. Oh, right, you got it beforehand. Mm -hmm. it, it was kind of like what I was saying before, whenever you get a really significant upgrade that, like, requires that thing to beat the boss, they give it to you before the boss battle initiates. So, um, I know that uh, for a little bit we've been, like, a little harsh, but I do want to talk about the genius of that design and that fight in the sense mm. of you got an upgrade and the time to test that upgrade was in the fight. <laughs> Which, really, there's no better place to, especially no. since, like, that's the majority of the game, is the boss battles. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I want to say that's genius because it's it's kind of like, usually, when you have those levels, you're being given something and you're like, okay, cool, I have to test this out in the level mm -hmm. now, and, you know, get to use it there, but in this case, the boss fight was the, uh, those are the challenges, so, yeah. Uh, it's just garbage just pouring out. What yeah, is it? I guess it's sort of like a trash compactor. Uh. So, uh, yeah, that was awesome. And then, of course, the the typical good design element of, all right, you've got a new thing. Now you have to escape the area that you're mm -hmm. in, and you have to use the thing that you just got. Yeah. You have to shoot upward. Absolutely. I agree. That was that was really well designed on their part. Mm. There's no time for wartime during such pressing environmental issues. We're drastically. drastically speeding up the process of destroying our planet instead. We must unite and forget our ideological differences. Perceptor close. I feel like the messages that those present us are generally along the same lines of like, why are we doing this? That is a face. In the back? Nope. Up. Oh, that guy shooting. That's a face. <laughs> it's kind of like a um, a uh, Judge yeah. Dread face. And I'm gonna make you do animation. Me spitting stuff out of my mouth. No. Nah. All right. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I do like I'm this so area. Fine. I think. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. You guys, a shield. I think this is the area where we might get the dash ability. I'm really hoping for it because that Man, is that's a lot of power being able to shoot up and the dash ability. Dude, right? That's in like those are awesome things. It's either that or we get the torpedo, which the torpedo right now would probably be the absolute best thing for There's been us. So many areas you haven't been able to go into because of it. Ex well, not even just that, but like a lot of upgrades, uh, like the minor upgrades. Get it, you know, get it, 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 get it. Dupes. Yeah. Currents, they ain't no thing. Not ever since I got that engine Little upgrade. Little engine that could. Oh god. Oh my. That was actually pretty good placement in like, like a. You they made sneaky. it glow for you. Come on. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. Oh, hell yeah. They, uh, oh. Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh. Good stuff. So, maybe this isn't where the boss is, but I know this is the right area. Maybe it's, uh... Yeah. This Okay, so this boss, if it's the one I'm thinking of, ship upgrade, is this... What is this upgrade? Torpedo! Yeah! All right. Okay, so this boss, I think you're really going to like this boss, because I actually really like this boss, too. Oh, uh, just because, you know, it. you like it means I like it. Basically, you have so to. So how does the torpedo work? You just shoot that instead of harpoon so? Yes, except... Oh, have... you can switch it instead. Yes, but we can't aim it. It only shoots um, straight ahead. So, which and in so the if front. you press right, ah, gotcha. So that's the downside to it. Yep, exactly. Also, I love the music for this guy, the Defiler. This, like, giant lobster? Is he a lobster? Or is he, like, a crab? Uh, I think he's more lobsterish. That was he's the a little... definitely thing you could shoot with harpoon. I know that much. What? Right there. The where? Isn't that a cog that you can shoot with the harpoon? No, what? man. Ah, oh, what? But that looks like the spinning things. <laughs> uh, kind of. Shut up. <laughs> There's another one. You confuse the background elements a lot with the foreground. I'm just gonna... I mean, I guess that's... Oh, there was a fish there, I one guess. One of these in the middle of the... Okay. <laughs> the plastic species? The fetish of waste? The recycled history? The lack of space? The dead gods fertilize? The ruins of their race? Oh, it's... The title was Song of Waste. I, I guess that makes that make a little bit that more sense. Guy's losing his mind a little bit. Yeah. So, okay, we're back to this thing where, like, they kind of, like, 
throw these other barriers in the way for seemingly no reason. I um, just want to show you that occasionally they're going to mix it up a little bit. Ah! Yeah! Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, 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 he got you. He got you. Yeah. So, like, okay. Um, we, we mentioned this in the past, right? Where you're like, why are they having you, you, um, you know, pick out a saw and, you know, chop through these vines right after you already did that to get into an area, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, at this point, like this level, it's like we didn't even need to chop through vines to get to this zone. But they randomly are having us chop through vines just just to advance and no other reason. Um, it does seem a little out of place. So, like, from a design perspective, like, it doesn't really hurt the gameplay, right? Like, it it's overall it just kind of feels arbitrary, and it's like, okay, that's that's fine. Ultimately, it's not hurting the gameplay. Um, but I think it's underutilized. I think really what needs to be done is it. I think the player should be pulling out the saw and keeping it out for some reason, right? Like, oh, damn it. Oh, man. All right. I, By the way, I, gotta, I don't like, think it's a lobster. You think it is a crab? I, I think it's like, um, no, because its arms are like doing like one of these. It's almost like it's a, a crazy shrimp or something, which I know is. I mean, they're calling it a crustacean. Yeah. Um, which but is that's a pretty a surprisingly, broad category. Yeah, I was going to say surprisingly large uh, um, species. Speaking, of, that reminds me, Harry Poppins was really upset that we were playing this game without him because he has a very strange amount of knowledge about aquatic life. He really does. <laughs> and he was like, why are you playing this game without me? I could talk so much about, you know, fish. It's because then we wouldn't talk about the game ever. <laughs> it's true. It's like our recent Pragmatic Saga episode where he just talked about Vikings for... Oh, I was right there! What? Uh... Uh, that that feels so unfluid. Like, the rest of this game is so mm -hmm. organic, and all of a sudden they added, oh, there's a little part you can destroy right there. Yeah. It's right above you. See? Oh, he destroys he, he, it He destroys you. it, too, yeah. Right now it's just proving as an obstacle to uh, get through this area. What happens if you follow him? You hit a wall. You can't actually go through there. So he goes past the wall? Yeah, uh, exactly. Sad. That reminds me, that would have been a good opportunity to do, like, an homage to Mega Man X days. There's a Mega Man X thing where, like, the lava goes past or whatever, and, like, if you... Oh, no, it was a giant bulldozer creature just like Oh, him. yeah, and there's if a like, If there's you a get heart. past him, behind him, there's a heart tank. I, yeah. I absolutely did that, too. When I, I first played this game, I was like, there's got to be something that, like... Oh, come on, man. Uh, I need, like, one more speed upgrade. That's... Well, we're going to have to do this in the next episode. I'm sorry. Oh. But it should suck. Mm, all right. Well, I, I, that. I I do really like the music for this guy, though. I think they kind of play new music for each boss, sort of. Maybe I could be wrong. This is to be perfectly honest, because the speakers is the first time I've been able to hear this. Yeah. So... Yeah. When we get better microphones, we'll be able to turn up the TV yeah. volume more. But until then, we gotta sit in silence. But uh, anyway. <laughs> so question of the day. Um. I guess there's a couple things we could talk yeah. about. Um, I mean, the most pertinent thing I wish was, we could talk more about this boss so far, but I've barely been able to experience anything of it because you suck, so... Well, okay, to be fair, this is one of those ones where if we don't spend a lot of time getting the other upgrades, it becomes really hard. Straight right? to the left a little bit. Because you keep going on diagonals, and that's slow. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's they do slow you down your vertical movement when you're moving left and right just a little bit, but enough to, Wait. to matter. Question of the day. Okay, question of the day. Um, I, I guess we've brought this up a lot, but I don't know if we've made it a question of the day yet, but how do you feel about those what we've been calling those arbitrary obstacles? So, like, the vines that, that kind of pop up in between that little area. <laughs> um, what do you think is a better way they could be utilizing it, I guess, is, is sort of the question, because right now it doesn't really seem to hinder us. Also, yeah, what are they trying to say with it? I think yeah. it's another good question, like, why? Yeah, are they just trying to like be like, hey, you're still using those upgrades you got, or do you think there's something else going on? Yeah, it could be. The question why, very important question in design, always. I mean, that's why there are designers, really. Why? <laughs> See you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.